Pinkwrite is an English language resource and it covers software for writing, which is just in the beginning at the time of these books being released, but it does exist. But for much longer before the software came out, Pinkwrite was a platform for teaching English, whether we're talking native speakers or ESL students. It's phonics and grammar, it's, it's the same. Now, some ESL and native English speaker curriculums might be different, but not with Pinkwrite. Pinkwrite sees things simple and universal and holistic, so it doesn't matter if you're an ESL student or native speaker. All the ideas apply. Now, with the phonics, the Read with Dot series helps by looking at basic phonics and using colors and slowly, but like steadily, and in the end, it's much, much faster building from phonics into reading sentences and to getting some vocabulary under your belt. And we're talking about years worth of material within months just because of a focus on the important things. Now, it's not a comprehensive curriculum, but it covers a lot of material and it addresses the concepts which makes the entire learning process much quicker. So, that's phonics. Now, with grammar, I've had this theory about geometric grammar, which all revolves around noun case. And typically with grammar, in English we think of subject and verb and object, but understanding that nouns have case, we're talking five case system or eight case system or nine or 10 case noun system, by understanding the different cases or situations that a noun is in, all the rest of grammar is so much easier because it helps you see the picture. The higher you go in English, whether you're teaching or studying or writing or learning, the higher you go, the more the answer to your grammar questions will always be, think about the picture. Looking at grammar from a geometric viewpoint and from a noun case viewpoint makes all of that much, much easier. And that's the paradigm of English teaching from Pinkwright. But again, it's not even just about teaching English, it's also about using English. So, it also includes typing. I mean, there's so much involved in this brand. Now, people ask me, Jesse, where did the name Pinkwright come from? Well, originally I wanted Printwright, but it didn't roll off the tongue. And another, looks like a great software company to me, they had some driver for DVDs or drives or something, already called Printwright, and I didn't want to mess with it. And, you know, I, I said, what, what rhymes with print, kind of, and, and, and look at pink. And, and it was available in the domains and in trademark registries. And not only does it roll off the tongue, pink is kind of a controversial color. And it sort of has that idea about working until you turn pink, which, I mean, if you've written until you're pink, I and mean, you've written a lot,